Hey guys, what's up? BC coming back at you guys with yet another Transformers video review. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the Titans Return Deluxe Class Hardhead. Um, yeah, basically I got to play with all of the deluxes of the first wave, this one being the only one I actually bought for myself. Um, and basically I'm only gonna get Skull Cruncher. I'm not that big of a fan of Blur or Scourge, to be honest. But yeah, bearing all this in mind, you know, I kind of got today off from work, and uh, I sat here like, well, what am I going to do with all this free time? So, YouTube catch up. Anyways, here is Hardhead in his tank mode, and this is definitely a very stylized version of his G1 tank mode. And I love this. I really do. It's so nice. Um, clearly enough, he's got a green rifle up here. And again, kind of just showing off the fact that, you know, the headmasters do in fact incorporate to the whole gimmick thing, gimmickry of the line. Here's the little headmaster dude. Um, I'm not going to lie, I completely forgot his name. I want to say Furos? Furos? I might. I'm, I'm not 100% correct. His actual, his name will be in the title. We'll leave it at that. But anyways, yeah, like, you you can just, I don't even know why I put his arms down when I was already planning on doing this. But, you know, he sits in this thing. And then... This plugs on, and this would plug onto any other of the larger figures, give or take. Um, say love you. Now, another thing I want to point out real quick with the head with the headmasters is the, they got these little holes on the bottom of their feet, and you can clearly tell on hard head there are kind of bringing them up close to the camera. You can see that there are these little tabs right here. Those are meant for these. They can stand on these little pegs and act and you can actually have like in his case four headmasters while he's piloting the tank inside and have somebody sitting in the like you basically have a whole bunch of little headmaster dudes actually riding on top of Hardhead in his tank mode. And I think that's actually really kind of freaking fun. So yeah, we got all this stuff. I'm gonna fold this back up and reattach it to the tank because we're gonna get into the transformation now and the transformation is dead simple there's no other way to word it dead simple so you're gonna come to the bottom flip up his crotch plate come to the back here flip up his feet done one peg his legs from here and then proceed to fold them down and kind of fit them right in here. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to come up to the top and unpeg his arms from here and bring them up on this hinge, which is going to allow you to, well, it was already pegged in up there, but you're going to unpeg it from there, flip it around and peg it in up here, which pretty much makes most of his body. Fold this bit down, fold this bit down, and there you, you pretty much have the torso, which you then proceed to just straighten these out, grab these, pull on them to straighten them out, come in here and flip out the fists. Of course, mine really just wants to flap about today. Now the cannon. Still the way this sits on that, you slide it over to the side like this, and then fold it up and over, and there is his giant shoulder launcher thing. And I'm going to go into something real quick. The way you're supposed to have the headmaster's plug in, the, headmaster, the headmaster's head is supposed to face backwards, but for whatever reason on the deluxes, from what I've seen, they all did it. You plug them in the normal way, and 
you get that. That is, yeah, my fix. And I'm pretty sure everybody else has done this, especially on Scourge. God, this was hard on Scourge. You basically turn the little headmaster head around, which you then proceed to just plug it right back on, and now it's no longer even an issue. You can actually fully pose the head. I mean, yeah, I was moving that around. I was, but it was like, just trust me. In hand, you in hand, you'll understand. That is, if you were unlucky enough. Put the little rifle in his hand, and there you go! There's a hard head in robot mode. And... Wow, I love this. <laughs> like, just, I don't know why. I just really friggin' love this. Like, just, he looks so cool. Then, like, I really love putting him in a pose where he looks like he's just a soldier. On the front lines. I don't know why that just looks all that just looks really freaking cool to me. Now, as far as a size comparison goes, kind of moving him over to the side. Let's give let's get him in with something that's a bit more recent. So let's go with you. Since you have actually never saw the light of day on my channel, other than when I reviewed you. Generations Trail Cutter. And as you can see, decently decently sized deluxe. So yeah, I'm moving him out of the way. Kind of laying him down. And getting into his articulation. As you saw through the ma headmaster, he has a ball jointed neck. Got two joints in the shoulders. One through a hinge, the other on a ball joint. A double jointed elbow that barely works. A wrist swivel, which I freaking love the fact that he has a wrist swivel. I don't know why. Do not judge me. Um, due to the way he transforms, he does not have a waist joint. He's got a ball joint in his hip. A thigh swivel. And about a 90 degree bend at the knee. So there we go. There is... Well, there's Hardhead. There's really nothing much else to really go into with this figure. He's Hardhead. But I'll admit, I don't have as much of an attachment to Headmaster characters as I did with, say, oh, I don't know, most of the Combiner Wars line. Like, I went ham collecting the Combiner Wars line, and I can already tell that I'm not going to get nearly as many f figures in this line. Even, But I, I will definitely admit, I'm probably going to go ham on the Voyagers. The Voyagers are really rocking it for me, this wave, or this line. But yeah, um, I'm not, don't, don't let my opinion ride off Hardhead for you. Hardhead's a good toy. I really do like him. I just have my qualms with the Deluxes so far. And, you know, once I get Skull Cruncher, we'll definitely come back and revisit the Deluxes. And once I get Galvatron, we'll revisit the Voyagers. And then we'll finally take a look at the Leaders when I have the Leaders. Because, you know, this line is only just starting out. And we're starting, like, you know, we're kind of starting off at a bit of a hit-and-miss pace right now. And, um, you know, that's every Transformers line so far. But, yeah. Um... There you go. Hardhead. Nothing really else to talk about with him. So, with that said, this is BC Saints Area. You get your geek on. I will catch you guys next time. Bye.